Hello everybody and welcome back to Sandy Bay. So it is now the spring. That was indeed the fastest winter on record. Although because it is early spring and it is the very beginning of early spring, it still feels very, very wintry. It's only three degrees, uh, so very cold. And the ground temperature is still zero. So nothing is growing at the moment. As you can see, there's just no grass growing. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with moving a bit of manure because we now do have quite a bit. That's completely empty. We'll open up these gates just over here. I have been feeding the animals again um, since we have been progressing through the days. But look at this pile. This hasn't been dealt with at all. So we have a serious amount of manure building up in there, which isn't good. But today is the day to get that out of there. I'm going to spread it on the field down the bottom there. Now, I know the grass isn't actually really growing yet, but we should still be able to finish off the... Uh, the manure is pretty I did start, I started in the autumn and we run out of manure but since we have now spent the whole winter and the cows have been accumulating that manure we now have plenty so I'll just drop this off here and once this is done because this is going to be such a fast job I'm actually going to move on and use a new mod it is the livestock trailer add-on which does sound very interesting uh, where did I put my manure grab? Here it is with the bale. Uh, yes, keeping the, the nice clean straw clean by putting a dirty grab with it. Although considering it's been handling manure, that is spotless. Okay, so yeah, this new mod, um, it is, well, it's like an enhancement, I suppose, for the livestock trailer. Adding sounds and things like that, very nice. I, I really want to demonstrate it rather than try and explain it. But it is on Mod Hub, it's by GTX, so thank you very much GTX. And uh, yes, I was going to do a shout out today. I was going to try and shout out the person who recommended the, uh, the milk slash uh, water tanker. But at the time of recording this, they haven't uh, identified themselves. <laughs> I did say, can you please send another email? And it's fair enough, they either haven't watched the video or you know maybe don't, don't want to send another email, that's fine. But yeah, if you do want to have a shout out, then please do email me with the same email address that you emailed initially with because uh, then I can search it and I can you know confirm that it is the same person not that it really matters I mean it's a very minor minor thing it's just a recommendation for a mod but I feel it would be nice to uh, just thank the correct person nah first bit on the floor okay well yeah I'm going to continue with this then we're going to spread it on the land and finally we'll uh take a look at this new trailer because I'm actually going to get some chickens. I think chickens would be a nice addition to the farm and in FS, I don't know in seasons, but certainly in the base game, eggs are worth a lot of money. Very good. Yes, very good. However, having said that, um, that is still per 1,000 litres and 1,000 litres of eggs is not that easy to get. It's possible, very possible, you can get thousands of uh, thousands of litres but it's not quite as easy to get a thousand litres of eggs as it is to get a thousand litres of wheat for example but certainly if you do have plenty of chickens and you look after them you can make a fortune Right then, so that is the final piece. I didn't actually realise that we were going to be able to do the whole field again, but we, we can. So it looks like there is going to be a section of the field which is a bit behind the rest of the field, because it was never done in the autumn. But let's just take a look at the fertilising map. It should be, well, it should have two shades of blue. If I'm correct, yes, we do. We've got the centrepiece, which wasn't done properly. 
or it wasn't completed because we ran out of the manure. And then we've got the, the outside, which is better. So it's fine. That is, that's already very good for this time of year. So I'm very happy with that. Anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to head back up here. We're going to fill it up again because we're going to do way more muck spreading in the future. And I do want to focus on quite a bit of alfalfa in this in-game year because we can now do some different things with alfalfa. I've seen that a new mod was put on yesterday and it's basically a fermenting silo for alfalfa. So you, you can ferment it, turn it into silage and you can then sell that for a substantial amount compared to what just the alfalfa is worth. So that's good. But the thing is with that is it's like £110,000 to buy. So it's not cheap. Uh, it's definitely not going to be happening in the next few episodes. But I, I would hope that by the end of the summer, this summer, not, not real summer, uh, the in-game summer, uh, we will be able to afford it uh, because we'll have the crops harvested over there which will bring in a fair chunk of income. Uh, we'll also have the milk and, well, I'm aiming to do some uh, some chickens today, so we should get some eggs in very soon. And, yeah, we might even be able to sell our last few silage bells because we do have so much tea, uh, total mix ration now, so that's very good. Uh, anyway, yes, like I said, we'll fill this up and then we'll move on. I know you shouldn't really leave it with manure in, but we are going to be using it very soon. The engine helps. Engines are good. There we go. It's all empty, and the cow is coming to fill it up again. Uh, anyway, yeah, we're going to put this into the trailer. I have noticed a few spilled bits here and there. That one scooped up. And there was this piece which I tipped over the fence. Scooped up. And yeah, I don't think it's going to even fill the trailer, so that's very good. We managed to muck them out completely. I was a bit concerned we'd run out of space, but I think there might even be a storage facility for the manure anyway. Right, so this tractor just hit 10 hours and we're almost out of diesel, so we'll go and fill it up. I think we're going to be focusing more on the JCB for the rest of the episode anyway. I'm not saying we're not going to be using this tractor, though. We might have to move something, uh, some grain or... Uh, actually, yeah, we're going to have to feed them. <laughs> That's part of looking after chickens. We need water and feed. Okay, so yeah, it's filling up. Cost a few hundred pounds. 170, that's not bad. I think the JCB took about 500 pounds worth. But the JCB is more powerful. Right, so yeah, we'll have to figure out the best uh, thing to do with the chicken feed later. But for now, I'll just put that up there, and we're going to jump into the JCB once I've closed the gates. The cow gate is still open. Poor cows. And there we go. And that's alright where it is. That's fine. Now, I've put the JCB just over here. It is still attached to the milk tanker. So I think if I just reverse that milk tanker back in, back in the pit, it can stay there for now. I don't know how much our trailer is going to cost. I think it is just like a modification to the base game uh, animal trailer, so it's probably the same one, I would say. Um, no, it doesn't come under animals, it comes under animal transport, it catches me out every time. 
Yeah, so it is still the £24,000 um, trailer. But yes, 90 chickens. 90 chickens will fit in there. That's not bad. 228 fit in this one, and 240 fit in this one. Well, I think leasing is going to be the way forward for this, unless they have a crazy transportation fee. Okay, um, so the best thing for me to do first is just to go down to the livestock market and we'll find out. What I don't want to do is find out they have a transportation fee of £100 each, because that would be ridiculous. Chickens. Okay, so the fee is... So they have no fee. Um, well, the sensible thing to do would be just to have them delivered, but that's no fun. So I'll just lease it. There we go. We'll jump into the JCB, and we'll head down to the store, pick it up, and then we'll go and buy a good handful of chickens. I don't know how many, but... Quite a few. I think it is definitely going to be a profitable thing, uh, providing they do keep on top of the feed and the water. If I don't, it would be foolish to even buy chickens. Chickens do love their water, like any animal. Five degrees now, and the temperature is rocketing. Unfortunately, we can't do any field work today, but I'm really hoping by the next episode we will be able to get into the fields. It would be good to. This field here, our canola field, which is looking really healthy, it needs to have its final application of fertiliser. I'm expecting big things from that field. If we do keep it really profitable, really productive, high yielding, uh, that should pay for quite a few of my future ideas, especially the fermenting silo for alfalfa, that'd be really good. Because you do get quite a bit of alfalfa off one small field. And we said this, we don't actually have an alfalfa field. But again, if we can maybe buy one, if we can get the money to buy one, that would be great. These people walk very close to the road. It's like they want to be hit by a wing mirror. There it is. So we'll take it over to the livestock market and we're not only going to be able to hear the animals but we're also going to be able to see them in the trailer. You can take the cover off too. So you get a really good view. We'll keep it on for now. I do have my interactive zone marker switched off, but I think the trigger is just over here. Yes, okay, so let's now choose the ones. So these are our hens, so is the Rhode Island Red. Um, so this one is a hybrid for both eggs and meat and requires an amount of feed in between that of its laying and meat counterparts, and this one here. This is the better choice if eggs are the top of your priorities, which they are. Uh, it requires less feed, oh that's good, and um, yes, less feed than any of the other breeds. So let's spam that, we can go up to, was it 90? Something crazy. We will go to the top, I'll just add a few roosters first. The, this male bird is primarily used for reproduction and will work to fertilise eggs produced by your chickens and produce chicks. Note, you do not need a rooster to produce eggs. Yes, I figured that one out. Uh, so, yeah, we don't need many. I think I might have just bought a few. There's going to be a bit of competition there, a bit of a, a, bit of a fight going on. Right, that'll do. Uh, let's just spam the rest. You wouldn't want to eat any fertilised eggs, though, would you? Hmm. Right, well, we'll just, we'll just do this. The trailer is full. So our bill comes to 542 for a full trailer. Can't complain of that. Look at the poor things in their little cages. Well, we'll keep the uh, the cover off. Yeah, they all are. Our hens. Not too sure if we can pick out the roosters, but 
they're in there. And, oh, actually, you can open the, the back, can't you? So you get an even better view. Can you open the back? Maybe you can't. Open. I thought you could. I thought you could. <laughs> I don't know. I never do that. Hmm. No. Folding and unfolding, just highs and lows. Okay, well, that's fine. Maybe we can't open it because it's got chickens in. Come on then, chickens. All 90 of you. I don't know how well it's picking up in the video, but you can hear them. It's always difficult for me to tell how much of the in-game sounds do pick up in the video. But that is quite a delivery. Lots of chickens. Okay, so I'm approaching from this angle, it's just better, it's easier, since the chickens are over here on the right hand side. That's where they're going to go. They actually have quite a nice enclosure. It's about right for 90, I suppose, I don't know. Now I have quite a bit of spamming to do, usually it's just a few, if it was a few cows. But nope, today it's 90. It actually is 90 as well. Right, well, there we go, they're out, they'll be very relieved to see that, and actually, no, it doesn't look too crowded. We don't want overcrowding here. So they've got a few puddles to splash around in to begin with, and some really rubbish grass. <laughs> um, no, I'll make sure I've got everything ready for them before the end of the episode. 90 chickens. 87 hens three roosters. Okay, so they take wheat and barley. That's a shame because I only have rye. I can buy chicken feed. I didn't want to. They don't take water. So that is very interesting. Well, I think I'm going to have to grow some wheat or barley. We can do uh, spring barley in a field which I probably haven't bought yet. Or I might plough up a section of this field here. That is a possibility. Because uh, I don't really need so much grass. We don't need so much. I'm just wondering if I should maybe buy the same amount again. Since I have the trailer, it's cost me more than I've even paid for the hens. Um, and yeah, we could really do with the money from the eggs. It was only £570. I think I will do. So I'm going to quickly race back down there, pick up another full trailer, I'll return, and then we'll get the food. I should have done that first really, I suppose, but yeah, we'll get the food and make sure they have the food that they deserve. They're here for a better life. And it's not even as if they're going to go off to be slaughtered because they are here for eggs. So yeah, they're going to have a nice long life here. It's always a big thud at the bottom of there. <laughs> you got to go quite slow. There we go. So that's another £514. For 90 hens. We're going to have eggs coming out of our ears, but I'm really hoping that we do make a lot of money from these eggs. I can't even begin to imagine how many eggs we're going to get. Is 90 I don't think 90 chickens is that much. I think we've had way more. Didn't I have hundreds in the Felsbrunn series? But having said that, we did make a lot of money, so yeah. I, I think this is good. It's a good start. We can't have so many in that little enclosure. There we go. Okay, I don't know if there is a, a move all button. I don't think there is, but it would be useful when buying chickens. So we have 180. And yeah, the the physical appearance of this is no different. So it looks like we've got just the same amount, but we don't. Um, but it will affect the amount of 
feed that we have to give them. So how much is feed? It must be so expensive. I hate buying feed. It's extortionate. Okay, uh, wrong category. Can we get it in any of these bigger bags? I think there's probably a mod for it. But no, you've got to buy... That's crazy. I know. I'm not going to cheat. I'm going to buy it at the current price. So we've got wheat here. I'll buy it for the most expensive to make it even fairer. Uh, yes, we shouldn't be paying any more than 1,046. So that's what I'll do. I'll pay 1,046 per 1,000 litres. Frustratingly, the best trader for this is actually the really small one, which I filled with manure. So we'll go and take that over to a field which is going to be spread eventually. It's actually most likely just the field across the uh, across the yard here. But at least it gets it out of the trailer. I have to give it a good wash. Um, yes, I think this field here. Although, is this the field? That might be the field you can't fertilise. Hmm. Well, in that case, it's going to have to go over here to the arable field, which is yet to be harvested. Next time we harvest it, we can spread this on the field. And I suppose I could... I could dump it in, well, the side of this field, although that's possibly going to cause an issue for the sheep. So I won't do. There's actually a really good place in the corner just here. That's good. Okay, yeah, we're going to give it a pressure wash. Make sure it's nice and clean. Sorry, corner of the crop. Yeah, whatever the capacity is, I'll get it filled up. We'll take it down to the store, fill it up, and I'll pay that going rate for the wheat. I don't, I don't think that's a, an unfair thing to do. I think that's very realistic, really. Because we all know how farming simulators' prices are crazy. Especially their bales. They are so expensive. And even, even actually, a thousand, over a thousand pounds for a thousand litres of uh, wheat, that is unrealistic. But, yeah. At least I'm sticking with it, not making it too easy. This trailer feels so small, although it's a very handy trailer. It would make it challenging if these side roads, these back roads, had traffic. Can you imagine? I did that Polish map and that had traffic on the single track roads. It was, uh, it was quite difficult, <laughs> to be fair, uh, but it would make it more interesting. If only the traffic was more intelligent, that would make it interesting. Like if, if, if a car met a tractor on a really tight section, if the car would then back up and pull over, that would be very difficult to do. But can you imagine how interesting, realistic, and uh, well, fun that would be? I don't know if fun is the most appropriate word, but it's good enough. Right. Give me all your feed. I need all your chicken food. Yes, I am the chicken food eating person. Right. They have given me all their feed. I'm sure they were shocked when somebody wanted to eat all of their wheat. But no, it's 10,000 litres, so we can now pay for it. Uh, that would be 10,460 pounds. There we go. Now, I think that is more than enough money for one very small trailer load of wheat. So if anybody comments that I've been unrealistic there, then I have no idea. I will ignore you. That's good enough. I really have no idea if this is going to be enough. Um, but yeah, it looks like a large amount. It would certainly fill that trough in real life. It would be everywhere, it would be overflowing. Okay, now we play Let's Not Squish the Chicken game. Oh, they've already produced eggs. 
How nice of them. We haven't even fed them yet. Excuse me, chickens. Excuse me. Nothing to see here. I didn't run over any. Trust me. Okay, uh, yep, yeah, we get that emptying. And they really didn't take much. Well, that's good, because we now have this in, in storage. We'll put it in the shed. And we can use it to feed them in the future. And actually, that should be all they require. Look at that, it's fantastic. We have four litres. Okay, so the box appeared, but it is just four litres. So that is the chickens completed for today. They are really low maintenance, so they're not going to require much. I do like doing chickens. I think they are a nice source of income. Not too labour intensive. Anyway, as for their feed, like I said, we'll put it in the shed, we'll keep it in the trailer, make it easy. And next time, we should have progressed further into the spring, so there should be much more to do in the fields. But as for today, we are going to leave it there, so thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed the episode. And uh, yes, plenty more to come, because we are now moving into the summer. Until next time though, see you again very soon. Bye for now.